Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Home Free Alaska. My name is Tina, and I am really excited about today's video because today I'm gonna do something a little bit different that I've never really done here on the channel, and it's gonna be sharing with you guys my Amazon must-haves. Now, you guys know Amazon must-haves, we all probably shop at Amazon, right, in some capacity things change, so this changes from season to season. Some things that I might have used last year, last spring, last summer, may not be things that I'm using now because you kind of phase out of them, you grow out of them. Sometimes you find something that you like better, um, but right now in this phase of my life, these are some of my favorite finds that I've got from Amazon, and I thought it would be fun to share those with you guys. If you like any of the products that we talk about today, just check out the video description below. I will have everything link there for you guys to the exact items that I'm talking about today. So I prepared myself a yummy cup of coffee so that I am all ready for this video today. So with that being said, let's jump into it. All right, so first and foremost, one of my absolute favorite things that I buy from Amazon, and I actually use these every single day, sometimes all day long. They're my slippers, you guys. I absolutely love my slippers. In fact, I'm wearing them right now. Um, these are them. These are my mini Tonka slippers that I got from Amazon. Amazon has a lot of these styles of slippers, mini Tonka. I really like that they've got the hard sole bottom. So if you're wearing them, maybe you're gonna just step out into the front porch or run out to the garage really quick or something. They're not like those standard slippers that are soft sole, they're hard sole, which is nice. If it's raining or it rained and you just wanna run out to the mailbox and check the mail, these are really perfect for that. You guys have probably seen me wear these slippers maybe in some of my like day in the life videos, but I am the type of person where I am always cold. I know when we're moving to Alaska, right? Funny. Uh, but I'm always cold, so you will not catch me even in the summertime running around my house with no shoes on because my feet are cold, and when my feet are cold, then I'm cold. So these are my absolute favorite slippers. They are genuine sheepskin slippers lined with sheepskin, so it's durable. They're not water resistant, but they hold up really well. And I have found that they run about a half size larger, so just keep that in mind if you wanna go on and order them, but they're super warm and super fuzzy and soft, and they have all kinds of designs. Um, I like the, um, what is this, leopard print, cheetah print, whatever that is, super cute. Those are my favorite. These mini Tonka slippers will run about 70 bucks. That's at least what mine cost. There's different pricing depending on the style that you choose, but the ones I'm sharing with you guys today, they're about $69.99 on Amazon. All right, so I think every mom needs this in her house. My next item is like, I would say a must have. And some of these products, you know, you always see like videos like Amazon must have. Some of the stuff might not be things you need to have, right? They might be wants. This one I would say is a must have if you've got little ones or even animals running around the house. Here it is. It's the Bissell Cordless Handheld Vacuum. You guys, trust me when I say check this out. It has little attachments to it so you can suck in between your couch cushions, get into other areas. It is so awesome. It keeps a charge for a really long time and especially if you have cats with litter boxes, this is something that Parker uses every day when he cleans the litter box. He uses this little vacuum and vacuums around the litter box because inevitably the cat will get litter outside the box as well, right? But quick spills, quick cleanup, just for that everyday maintenance in the living room and kitchen and the bedrooms. If you don't wanna take out the big vacuum, this cordless handy vacuum is amazing. And as you can see, it has a really big compartment here for all the debris that it picks up. So I actually purchased another one not too long ago and we ended up just throwing it in the garbage. One, it didn't keep a charge for anything. Two, the container for the debris was way too small and we were having to change it out constantly. Couldn't stand it. This thing is amazing. Bissell is a good brand. So this cordless hand vacuum, I highly, highly recommend this for you mamas. 
Um, just kind of helps keep everything cleaned up, especially if you have animals. This has been great, getting all the baseboards, that's a big thing, right? Getting the baseboards, getting in between the couch cushions, maybe under the beds and behind all the doors, things that we might not always do on a regular basis. So definitely check this out. This one ran me about $72 on Amazon. All right, the next one is a must have for me and it's another item that I use on a daily basis. You guys know from some of my videos, I talk a lot about how I'm trying to move away from so much processed sugar. One of the biggest ways that I was drinking processed sugar was in my coffee. Now I am a big coffee person, you guys know me. I have maybe two to three cups of coffee a day just depending on the day, right? But I'm a creamer and a sweetener kind of person. I don't drink black coffee. I know some of you <laughs> are like, the fufu coffee is not coffee. Well, it is coffee. It gives me caffeine, all right? And I just like it to look creamy. I like it to taste sweet, and it just makes me happy. I was putting a ton of sugar in my coffee, and that's actually something that I've done my whole life. Joe and I still joke about when we first joined the Army, when we would go and like fill up our coffee cups, like, you know, you kind of sneak and hope no one's watching how much of that sugar you're pouring in your coffee cup. That's how Joe and I were. We over the years have tried to get away from sugar in our coffee and we've tried everything from honey. For me personally, honey, I didn't like honey in my coffee. Honey does have its own flavor and I just didn't like that flavor in my coffee. I love honey in my tea and everything else. You guys know we use honey from our honeybees all the time on the homestead, but not in my coffee. It gave my coffee a honey taste and I didn't want my coffee to taste like honey. So then we moved into some of the artificial sweeteners and then I started doing some research and learning that it's really important to know what's in those artificial sweeteners because some of them are worse for you than sugar. And nowadays, if you look at the ingredients they are sneaking in dextrose and maltodextrose, which is so unnecessary and actually really bad for you. As far as like sugar compared to like maltodextrose, it raises your blood sugar levels to such a high level instantly. And so it's really bad for you. So one of my absolute favorite things are these pure stevia leaf extract drops. Now I've been using stevia for several years now. Um, but even like raw leaf stevia and things like that, if you turn it over and look at the packet, they've got dextrose in there. So it's really hard to find a product that is just the extract from the stevia leaf itself, which is a natural sweetener. You don't need anything else added to it. So these stevia leaf drops are awesome. Let me see here. So the ingredients is purified water and organic and organic stevia leaf extract. So you don't have dextrose or anything else in there. Now, I will tell you guys, the bottle says that five drops is like the serving size. So five drops of this in your coffee, that's not enough. Joe and I do 20 drops per cup of coffee, just to tell you where we're at with that. You gotta try it, you gotta find like what gets your sweetness right in that right spot, right? But for us, it's 20 drops, but this lasts a long time. And of course it's zero calories, zero carbs, all the things, it's just a natural way to sweeten your coffee and your drinks. You can even use this in baking if you'd like. So this four ounce bottle is about $13.99 on Amazon. Something that I really like to do to help me drink water, more water every day, is to fill up a big, huge glass with ice water, and then I put the juice from a whole lemon in there and about 20 drops of this stevia leaf extract, and it tastes like a delicious lemonade. So, and lemon juice is really good for you. Should check out like the benefits of actual lemon juice and what that does for your body. Not the bottled lemon juice, because bottled lemon juice has been pasteurized, which has killed all of those good benefits that we want from the lemon juice. So straight up squeezed lemon juice from a lemon has amazing health benefits for you. So I've been trying to get at least two lemons a day in my system, lemon juice from two lemons a day in my system. And I've been doing that by making like this little makeshift lemonade with water and stevia. So check it out. Definitely one of my favorite items from Amazon and a little bit goes a long way. So all right, the next thing I wanted to share with you guys, and it's funny because I know some of my guy friends, this may not be the video for you, right? Maybe Joe should do an Amazon favorites. <laughs> but a lot of these products I know are geared more towards women, um, the ones that I'm gonna be talking about next. Let me, I'm just going through my favorites list here. Now, you guys, if you wanna see 
all the products that we use and everything that's our favorites, you can actually go to my about section in our YouTube channel or even look in the video description and I'm gonna have a link there for you for our Amazon storefront. You can just click that link and it's gonna take you right to our storefront and show you all the things that we love and use on a daily basis. For the homestead, for our homeschool, me personally for my beauty care, apparel, things that we love are all gonna be on the storefront so you guys can check that out as well. So the next thing I wanted to share with you, this, Mm -mm -mm, is a self tanner. Now, this is not a must have, right? <laughs> well, maybe not to some people. This is a want to have and this is a like to have. In the winter, I don't really care because nobody's seeing my legs and stuff anyway, but now that it's warming up and it's almost, it's pretty much summertime, right? I'm wearing more shorts. Me and Parker are gonna be hanging out at the pool this summer in the apartment complex. And I, I'm at the point in my life where I'm no longer laying out in the sun with baby oil. Y'all feel me? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Back in the day, we would lay out and we would lube up in the baby oil. So bad for us. And now I'm feeling the effects of that, right? I'm having like, I see some aging spots that I'm getting and I wish that I would have took better care of my skin when I was younger. But alas, when we grow up, we learn, right? I love this tanning lotion. I've used so many tanning lotions, so many tanning sprays in the past. I end up with orange ankles, I end up with orange elbows, all the things, and not only that, they don't give me that natural tan look that I, that I want. It's more of like this orangey color that looks just fake and not natural. What I love about Beauty by Earth is it's all natural. There isn't harmful chemicals in here that are bad for you. Um, let me just read some of the ingredients really quick so you can see what I'm talking about. So it's got organic aloe, it's got shea butter, it has, let's see, organic cocoa, it's got coconut oil, it's got organic Japanese green tea leaf act, extract, excuse me, it's got cranberry fruit extract, I mean, the list goes on, but you won't find that crazy list of chemicals and ingredients that you don't know how to pronounce. It's made with all natural products. And it is amazing, it's safe and it's effective. Now I put this on and it lasts for about seven days or so before I have to put on another layer. If you put this on and you're like, mm, it's not as dark as I wanna be, you can actually reapply this right away. And of course, give yourself 15 minutes or so before you put your clothes on because it'll turn your clothes orange. But it lasts for a good week and it gives this beautiful natural glow where people aren't like, that's fake, you know. I even went and got a pedicure not too long ago and my, my nail lady was like, do you go to the tanning salon? And I was like, nope. I used to do that back in the day, but I try to take care of my skin now. So if I wanna have that beautiful bronze glow for summertime, this is my go-to self tanner. And this seven and a half ounce bottle is about $28 on Amazon. And they also have like face tanners. They have a whole product line for Beauty by Earth. So I would highly recommend you ladies check this out if you want a safe but beautiful tan for the summer without damaging your skin. This is definitely a must have for you. And I would recommend getting the uh, tanning mitt. Now, I didn't use a tanning mitt for a long time. I don't know why I did this to myself. I would lube myself up, you know, go in the shower, exfoliate your skin really good, shave your legs and all the, all the things. And I would get out and I would put this tanning lotion on with my bare hands. And inevitably, no matter how much I washed my hands when I was done, my cuticles would be orange for like four days after I put it on. So it was kind of like, you know, my body looked great, but my hands were nasty and I didn't want people to see it. So I was like, hello, uh, you know, no. So I learned the hard way, just break down and buy you a tanning mitt. They sell these on Amazon and they're only $7, you guys, super inexpensive. What I love about this, I just squirt the tanning lotion right onto the mitt and apply it. And the nice thing is it also distributes it evenly so that you don't get like the orange elbows, the wrists, all those areas, the knees and all that good stuff. So get the tanning lotion, but also get the mitt to go with it. You won't be sorry. It's an awesome product and it's a great thing to have for summer coming up. All right, next up, ladies. Uh, how many oily hair ladies do we have out there? 
I have had oily hair since I was a teenager. And because of that, I would wash my hair every day. And I realized that washing your hair every day actually has the opposite effect of what you want because when you massage your scalp, it releases oils and things like that and it actually makes your hair more greasy. But I wash my hair now probably I would say two to three times a week. I do not wash it every day. What I do is I use dry shampoo. This is my absolute favorite brand of dry shampoo. Death Valley is the name of it, and it comes in different sizes, but this one is a six and a half ounce bottle, and it's gonna run about $33 on Amazon. It lasts a long time. All I do is flip my head upside down, spray a little bit of this in there, you know, massage it through my hair, flip it back over, massage the front of it and the sides with more of the dry shampoo. And it really helps to soak up all of that oil so that you don't look like you've got that greasy look going on. The other thing I noticed about this, even if I just washed my hair, if I'm gonna style it and curl it, like if we're going to church or something, even if I just washed it, I still spray a little bit of this dry shampoo on my roots because I found that it helps to give my hair more body when I'm styling it. So give this a look on Amazon, 33 bucks, Death Valley Dry Shampoo, it's awesome. Dry shampoo changed my life, seriously. <laughs> I absolutely love it, especially with my greasy hair. All right, ladies, so the next two items I'm gonna share with you uh, are bathing suits, okay? You guys might know from my podcast, or I think I might have mentioned it once here on my channel, but I did have breast implants at one point in my life, and in 2020, I decided to take them out. Yes, I had surgery, had them removed. I did not have new implants put back in me. Um, I wanted to celebrate me. Celebrate me the way God made me because I'm okay the way I am and I didn't need that to begin with. With that being said, I was super excited about this summer season to buy new bathing suits because before with the breast implants, they were ginormous and I could never wear the super cute bathing suits because I couldn't do like the thinner straps and everything because they were just too heavy. So I am also getting older. I actually turned 40 this month. In about a week, I'll be 40, you guys. Blah. But I'm also a mom, so I'm not the 20, 21-year-old girl that I used to be that uh, would walk around in skimpy bikinis and um, didn't mind showing those parts of my body. I'm a little bit more modest now. I think that less is more. I like to think that I am respecting Joe by not having all the goodies hanging out. It goes directly against what the culture is telling us, right? Women are walking around half naked even when they're not at the beach, right? You see that in the grocery store. So this summer, I said to myself, I wanna get a couple new bathing suits because Parker and I are gonna be going to the pool a lot, but I don't wanna be wearing string bikinis that I feel uncomfortable in or where everything's hanging out. And I wanted to, I don't know if this sounds silly to you guys, but I just wanted to honor Joe and um, keep those parts of me private for our private time together and just be a little bit more modest with the bathing suits that I wear this year. These are adorable. So check these out. So the first one, and this one is, let me see, they had a name for it. It is the wrapped tankini swimsuit with a crisscross back. Absolutely adorable. Adjustable straps, of course. So here is the top and it's kind of like a little shirt, so it goes down on your belly. So mamas, if there's any of you out there that have stretch marks or maybe something that you're not comfortable showing, this is really cute, but it helps to kind of cover that up. Um, I don't know how, but by the grace of God, I don't have one stretch mark on my body for my two kids. I, I don't know how it happened. I think I get it from my mom because she had four babies and she doesn't have stretch marks either. Um, or it was the fact that I lubed up in straight almond oil the whole time I was pregnant. I'm talking lubing it up. I was so afraid of getting stretch marks um, that I just walked around like a, an oil bowl every single day. But anyway, I still wanted to kind of cover up a little bit more this summer but still feel cute and still feel sexy. And you can see the back here. It's got the crisscross. It's super cute. And what I like about it is it gives a lot of support 
for the front. And you guys can see from the pictures that it's modest, but it's still super cute. And then you can mix match the color of bottoms that you want to go with it. But I chose the black. I thought these were really cute. And I love the green color. This is, green's my favorite color, so I really like this a lot. So I'm not gonna model these for you guys. <laughs> I just feel like that would be so inappropriate and I already get so many horrible comments on this channel sometimes that are like sexually inappropriate towards me from men. I would never in a million years model a bathing suit on my YouTube channel. You couldn't pay me to do that, but I will put some pictures so you guys can see what these look like on um, other women. So the next one is this little blue one. So again, you got just these modest bottoms, right? Cover is the butt cheeks, ladies. Let's cover the butt cheeks. I don't understand the people that I see in bathing suits. What is the purpose of even wearing a bathing suit? Like, why don't you just go to a nude beach? Because there's really nothing covered up at all, right? Like I said, I'm walking around with my nine-year-old son. I don't need my butt cheeks hanging out and it's just inappropriate. So anyway, I'm gonna get off my soapbox because I could do a whole video on modesty and the culture today. These are the bottoms and the top is super cute. This one is sexy, but still modest. And this one ties around your neck. And again, it's kind of like the shirt look, right? So it goes over your belly, but it's still kind of got the, the cuteness to it as you can see in the picture and it's adjustable because you tie it around your neck, but the back kind of comes down to a half back there. You can see that, super cute. And I will tell you guys, buying clothes on Amazon can be tricky. Um, thank God for their easy return process, right? I was pleasantly surprised with these two bathing suits because I put them on and I was like, they're so cute, they're so comfortable, and I still feel sexy in them, but I'm covered up enough that I don't feel like I'm overdoing it. And to be honest with you guys, this was the first time I put on a bathing suit since my breast implant removal surgery. And when I saw how they looked on me, I was just so grateful. Um, I'm, I'm still grateful for the outcome of my surgery because of what it could have been. I had an amazing plastic surgeon that was just has magical hands and Anyway, I was very happy when I put these on. So check out these bathing suits. The first one with the crisscross top was $29.99. And the next one, the blue one was $26.99. And like I said, when you go on, you can choose between like what colors you want. They have different colors and stuff that you can choose from, but they're super cute. Absolutely love them. So this is the blue one that I got. So I'm really happy with it. And then here's the green one. So really happy with them. I can't wait to wear them this summer. And then I got a cute little uh, just bathing suit over, lacy overlay to wait, wear over it for when Parker and I are walking from the apartment to the pool. Um, so all the things aren't hanging out. So that's the bathing suits. Next, I wanted to share with you guys really quickly, one of my favorite brands on Amazon as far as like lotions and sprays and things like that, and it's Kapari. And you guys have seen me and heard me talk about these on my uh, day in the life videos or like get ready with me. I use a lot of the Kapari products and what I like about them again is they are geared towards natural ingredients. So you're not using things that are loaded with these chemicals that you can't even pronounce. So this is the Coconut Rose Toner. It's, it says it hydrates and balances with witch hazel and rose extract. The first thing I do in the morning when I stumble out of bed, I go in the bathroom, put my contacts in, throw my hair up, and I spray my face with this rose toner. It, it kind of, it's just refreshing. It wakes me up. And then I feel like it kind of tightens my skin. You know when you wake up in the morning and your eyes are kind of puffy, your lips look like, I always feel like I look like the guy on Monsters, Inc. who got his lips stuck in the sucking machine, but everything's just kind of swollen. So this rose toner, this coconut rose toner has been one of my favorite things. Um, and sometimes I spray Joe in the face with it and he gets mad at me. I'm like, it's so refreshing. Just take it. 
The next thing I got from the same line from Kapari is their Coconut Hydrating Body Milk. This is super moisturizing and nice and thick, you guys. It's got shea butter and coconut. Let me see. It absorbs quickly and it's not like, it doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy. So when I get out of the shower or the bath, I lube up with this. Absolutely love it. Coconut is really good for your skin. And that's kind of what leads me into the next product, but definitely check this out. Coconut oil, shea butter, and also chamomile. And the smell is just amazing. So the Kapari Rose Coconut Toner is $17.50 on Amazon. And the Hydrating Body Milk is $30. So definitely check those out. And that leads me into my next product, which is the Kapari Coconut Melt. But I really like the Kapari brand. I like that this is kind of a melted coconut. So it's not super hard. I mean, you can kind of see this texture here. So it's not super hard. And of course, when you touch this to your skin and it warms up, right, it melts down like coconut usually does. So again, coconut is really good for you. And also ladies, stretch marks and scars. I'll tell you guys right now, see how that melted down there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Stretch marks and scars. Coconut is really good for stretch marks and scars. After my surgery, I would lube up in this exact coconut melt. You guys can see it. Smells so good, super moisturizing, and really good for scars. And the coconut sells for $25 on Amazon, so make sure you check that out. Again, this is straight coconut, and uh, it's just, it's amazing. It's a great way to moisturize your body. You guys, Sometimes we're buying these things off the shelf at the grocery store or even from Amazon that looks good um, and even the reviews might be good. But if you're not really looking at the ingredients and what you're putting on your skin, it can really be bad for you, right? Our skin is the biggest organ in our body and people don't realize that the second you put something on your skin, that goes into your bloodstream. So if you're getting all these toxic chemicals that are hormone blockers and so on and so on, it's, it may not affect you right away, but long term, it's going to cause issues for you. So just try to look at the ingredients, just like when you're looking at ingredients for your food, the less ingredients, the better. All right, so those, that's all the products that I had for today's um, Amazon favorites. I have some more, but I think it would just make the video way too long. So if you guys like this kind of video with me, I've never actually sat down and shared some of my favorite products with you, but if you guys enjoy it, let me know in the comments and then I can continue to do these in the future. So we're hanging out, um, heading into summer. I just booked us a cabin in the Shenandoah Mountains of Virginia for the Memorial Day weekend. I'm super excited about getting up into the mountain fresh air and hanging out with my guys. And we're just gonna, you know, plan a beautiful summer and try to do as much as we can our last summer here in Virginia. And then October 1st, we are heading out across country, hitting the road, going to Alaska. Super excited. Oh, really quick, I forgot to tell you guys. So we are taking um, Joe's enclosed trailer. We bought a big enclosed trailer to pull behind the truck when we go across country. And we decided to do a wrap. Well, it's not really a wrap on the trailer. You know, like contractors have like their um, logos and things on the trailer. We're doing big stickers on the sides and the back for the YouTube channel. I cannot wait to share that with you guys. I just sent over my design idea to the graphic designer and the company that's doing it for us so that they can tweak it. Um, but I just thought, what a great opportunity to promote the YouTube channel as we go across country and pass through how many interstates and highways and how many families and cars and, you know, just to be like, hey, follow, follow our move from city life to off-grid Alaska. Um, so that's going to be really neat. And I'll, I'll share that design with you guys as soon as they come back with it. I cannot wait to see what they do with it. So that's going to be it for today's video, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me over some coffee today. And again, Again, if you want to check out any of my favorite Amazon products that I shared with you guys today, go to the video description below. Um, some of you don't know how to do that. I've had a lot of people like, what do you mean the video description? If you look at the YouTube video, right underneath it, there's a little down arrow. And if you click that, it will expand and open up and it brings up a description of the video that I've typed up. And then I will also input the links 
to all my favorite things that we talked about today. All right, you guys, stay blessed and stay well, and I will see you guys very soon on our next video. In addition to sharing my favorite Amazon product, in addition to say, in addition to shit, why can't I say that?